Remember that uh, photo that hung in the playroom? Yes. This photo, I do remember it being in the playroom, and I do remember nobody knowing who it was, but why do you think that it would be hanging in our house? Remember, they never knew who it was. They could never tell you who it was. It was some relative or it wasn't really a relative. Right. It was... Never got a clear answer. Right. So who's the person? We don't know. I don't know. We still don't know. We still don't know. We grew up with her, but, but we, we don't know who she is. I'd like to thank the crew of Who Do You Think You Are because they're here filming. Hello, today. <laughs> and um, it's the beginning of my journey. We don't know where we're going, what we're doing. Like, I can't even imagine, you know? Wouldn't the O'Donnells be from Ireland? Or you think? My yeah. mother's m name, McKenna, Mirtha. Irish. We're all Irish. Right. Imagine if we find out, like, we're going to Israel, I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> it's really McKenna bon. Rabowitz or something. <laughs> I think if we end up not going to Ireland, it would be a shock. I mean, that was always what we were told. That was our identity. One thing about growing up Irish Catholic, we didn't talk about anything bad that happened. Nothing at all. Not my mother's death, never mind my family history. All I know about my mother's side is that her mother, who lived with us, was Catherine McKenna. We called her Nana. But I never knew my grandfather, Daniel Murtha, because he died before I was born. I've asked my brother Ed to come over and help me get started on my journey. He's always been the keeper of family photos and history and whatnot. I have all of um, Nana's photos and letters from her bedroom furniture. Actually, it was all still in the same drawer from really? when it left from Comac. Yeah, kind of scary. Um, so yeah. I went through all the stuff. What did you find? What did you well, find? Well, I found a bunch of different things. Um, remember that uh, photo that hung in the playroom? Yes. This photo, I do remember it being in the playroom, and I do remember nobody knowing who it was, but why do you think that it would be hanging in our house. Remember, they never knew who it was. They could never tell you who it was. It was some relative or it wasn't really a relative. Right. It was... Never got a clear answer. Right. So who's the person? We don't know. I don't know. We still don't know. We still don't know. We grew up with her, but, but we, we don't know who she is. I think Nana said it was Dan Murtha's stepmother. Our grandfather's stepmother? Right. But Dan Murtha's parents got divorced or died? I have no idea. Oh. That was just something randomly. They, it was always very vague. But she still hung there for 20 years on the wall, even though no one knew who she was. So more power to her. We go to Ireland. She's sitting at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and what's uh, this? This is um, Dan Murtha's draft card for World War I. Daniel A. Murtha, age 22. Date of birth, November 22nd, 1894. 604 Henderson Street, Jersey City, New Jersey. Where do you think you would start looking to find more information about them? I mean, any ideas? Uh, I don't know. Jersey City, uh, it's not going to be as easy as it looks on TV. No. <laughs> and so we begin, Ed. Let's see what we find out. Since I have my grandfather's address, and I know he was born in 1894, I'm going to meet with a genealogist in Jersey City to see if she can help me find my family in the census records. All right, let's load it up. Okay, this, I think this is it here. Okay. Henderson Street. Here we are, right? Mirtha. There's my grandfather, Daniel. Oh. Mirtha. Mirtha. Michael? That was my grandfather's father, my great-grandfather. Okay. And then they continue down on the next page. To Ellen, who was my great-grandmother. So I've discovered that Daniel's parents, my great-grandparents, were Ellen and Michael Mirtha. To look for more about my great-grandparents, Michael and Ellen, I printed out the census record. Let's see, what does it say about Michael? He's white, male, and he's born February 1855, it looks like. And we have where he's born. Canada. In French Canada. So he was in French parents. Canada, which would be mm -hmm. Montreal. In that area, yeah. yeah, somewhere in that area. And his parents, we have where they're born. Ireland. I knew it. Now, does it say what town in Ireland? A lot of times, vital records for Irish immigrants only say born in Ireland. They don't give you the exact town. And the hardest thing, really, is to get the exact place of origin in Ireland. Not an easy task. Right. So is there anything else we can tell about him from this? I have information on his wife, Ellen. Uh, she was born in August of 1864, so she was almost 10 years younger than her husband. He was robbing the cradle. You know those Murthas. 
Well, is there any way to go back to uh, the census before this one? Yes. I actually have checked the 1880 census online. This can be done online at Ancestry.com. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for a Michael Murtha, and I found one in Brooklyn. It's the only possibility that's from Canada. And he has a wife, Anna. Now, I'm gonna have to take a minute to digest this, because let me figure this out. My grandfather's father, Michael, was married to someone named Anna. In 1880, yes. But yet Anna is not... That's not your great-grandmother. Right. Well, this could be the mystery of the portrait that hung in our house. There's a portrait of a woman that looks like from the 1800s. My, my oldest brother, Eddie, would always ask her, Nana, who is that picture? So if that picture in our house was really Anna, then she would have been my great-grandfather's first wife and not my grandfather's stepmother. So now, I need to know what happened to Anna. <laughs>